What's going on, good people? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing well out there on the old interweb, as I always say. And before we get into today's review, um, please like, subscribe. I've uh, got a Patreon page, or Patreon page, sorry, um, that's got some cool stuff on it. Uh, there's some blog stuff and some behind the scenes stuff of what I got going on and what I'm listening to. If you're interested in that, hit that up. Let's get a community of like-minded music lovers going. Um, let's start a few conversations. Let's get that going. So what are we listening to today? Well, today I wanted to talk about um, a guy or actually a band that I have followed for some years. Um, I saw on their Facebook page and Instagram they're announcing a new album, and that is the Jamie McLean Band. Um, they announced they have a new album that's going to drop March of 2022. Matter of fact, it drops the 18th of March in 2022, and it's called Paradise Found. Now, um, they released one single from the album, and it's called This Is It. That's what I got jamming in the background. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the Jamie McLean band, because I'm sure some of you out there probably have not heard of these guys or heard of this gentleman. Um, and I, I really will implore you to dig into this guy's catalog um, because this guy is a serious musician. This whole band is serious musicians. So let's talk about it for a second. So the Jamie McLean Band. Jamie McLean is based out of New York City, from what I understand. Um, and the best way I can describe his sound is it's Delta Blues with a New Orleans flair to it. Um, it, it has influences. His influences, I think, are, you know, Tom Petty, the Stones, all that great rock, Van Morrison, everything that we love. Um, it's uniquely him, but also familiar. If you're into just great singer songwriter vocals, uh, this guy will get you there. And he is, his live, their live shows are ridiculous. This guy is an unsung guitar slinger, uh, modern day. He's one of my favorite guitar players. Um, he, he can throw down, ladies and gents, not only with his vocal, but with his six string. Um, a little history of how I come to find this band. When I was playing in a band, I got the opportunity once to open for J.J. Gray and Mofro. And uh, he, Jamie, was on the bill, and we were fortunate enough as a local band to get on that gig and open. And that's how I met him, and I did a couple more shows with him, and I just became a fan. Um, he, he has a couple of albums. Uh, one album, one and only, that was released a couple years ago. I listen to it at least once a week, maybe once every two weeks. It's one of my favorite albums. I implore you to check it out. But today we're talking about the single, This Is It, off of Paradise Found. It's the follow-up. This album will be the follow-up to, uh, they did an album called The New Orleans Sessions. Uh, that was released in 2019. It's got a lot of covers on it. Uh, there's some killer tracks on that album, uh, but as far as uh, studio original stuff, this is the follow-up to One and Only, and One and Only was released in 2018. So it's exciting to hear some original music coming from these guys. So let's talk gear for a second. On this current track, because we always talk gear, right? So the track that I'm talking about today, I hear um, a lot of acoustic I hear uh, some electric, so acoustics. I'm not sure what Jamie's jamming right now. I have did a little research and looked on YouTube, and it seems that he's rocking some Taylor guitars here lately, uh, which is kind of cool. On this, I'm not really sure what he used um, for his electric playing. Uh, he's mainly a hollow body guy. Amplifier-wise, uh, I think, from what I remember, he's always been a deluxe reverb kind of dude. Uh, I looked at some YouTube videos. I couldn't really tell the labeling. Some of those blackface amps are kind of hard to distinguish if you can't see them up close. Uh, but it looks like a deluxe um, pedal-wise. 
He's very minimalist. This guy does not need a lot of pedals because he can do all of his talking with his voice and he can do it with his hands when he plays guitar. Um, I think from what I've seen, I know he's got a tuner. Everybody's got a tuner. Uh, I don't see a wah on his board. Uh, there's two pedals I really couldn't distinguish. And then in the middle, there's a Klon KTR, uh, which is an overdrive. It's an awesome overdrive based off of the original Klons. Uh, Bill Flanagan kind of did these as a way to get them out to the public as a mass-produced pedal, uh, but they're still scarce. Uh, if you've got one, consider yourself fortunate. Uh, I've been a dumbass in the past and sold a couple of Klons and stuff like that. Uh, I've had some copies, but currently I don't have an original Klon, um, but I did, and they're, they're great pedals. It's a really dynamic pedal. Guitar wise, now this is interesting. Uh, so Jamie's rocking a uh, looks like a, a Gibson 335. To me, they're, I'm not a, a, an expert, like I've said before, but uh, it looks like they are. He's rocking uh, like an early 60s. Uh, looks like it used to be a cherry, but it's kind of faded. That's cool. And the guitar that I've seen him play the most is a Heritage. Um, it's a Heritage H535. Now, if you don't know anything about the Heritage uh, Guitar Company, which I'll put some links below like I always do, the Heritage Guitar Companies builds guitars in the original Parson Street Kalamazoo factory. So when Gibson moved to Nashville in the 80s, uh, some of the workers that were in Kalamazoo uh, did not want to make the move or wasn't offered to move. I don't know, but they bought space in the original factory building. They bought the original equipment and they built guitars out of that factory. So if you're looking for an original spec kind of feeling Gibson, and you don't want to buy a Gibson because we all know that Gibson's quality can be iffy at times and they've had turmoil in their company. You can get a Heritage. Uh, I myself do not own one. I'd like to jam one. Um, so yeah. So let's get back into this Jamie McLean song. So Paradise Found, it's going to, it runs 3 minutes 35 seconds and it's off of the upcoming, I, should, I said Paradise Found. It's actually called This Is It off of Paradise Found, like I said, coming in March of 2022. Now, I'm going to put a link below where you can hear the jam. Um, they have a thing going on. It's kind of cool. If you pre-order the CD, uh, you can get it early, which is cool. You can get autograph copies. They've got shirts. So please go out and support this guy. Stream his music. Um, hey, this dude's a road dog. They've been on the road. Um, and I'm telling you, you will enjoy his music if you're into any of the artists that I mentioned earlier. Um, he, he, You cannot go wrong with some of his stuff. You can't go wrong with really all of his stuff. Uh, dig into his back catalog. When they hit the road early next year and the end of this year, if they come anywhere around, I really, really, really implore you to go see them. Uh, I've looked at their tour dates. They haven't hit uh, anywhere near me in the next month or so so maybe beginning of next year they may come in my area and i hope to make it out to catch him again so there you go i just wanted to throw that out there put some new music in your ear so that's the jamie mclean band um, this is it off the upcoming album paradise found please go and check this guy's back catalog out uh, dig into his music you're going to find some stuff you like and remember, stay safe, keep rocking, and music is love, and love is music. Until next time, good people, stay safe. <laughs>